You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Brothers and sisters, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to you, everyone. Over here, it is me, your brother, Bishop Asuma Mark Obiero of Judah Praise Church, Kisumu, coming to you with the Word of God, which is the life giving Word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am happy to report that indeed, from the beginning, to the hand, there is no argument that our God is God by himself. Glory to God. Thank you, and may God bless his word today as we listen together. Let us pray as we begin in Jesus' name. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for granting us another opportunity to appear before you to listen to your word. For in your word there is life and a life in abundance. We thank you, our dear Father, that as we listen to your word, the Bible says the entrance of God's words brings light and it gives understanding to the symbol. I pray that today, as we listen to your word, there shall be enlightenment to us and where we have been stuck, where there has been any darkness in us, in our lives, Lord, your word will give full understanding to each one of us. We thank you, God. Be with us as we begin until we come to the end of your word today. Speak to us. We are ready and reasoning. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you, God's people. Here again, the Lord is with us to teach us his word, to take us through the truth of his word. And at the end of it all, each one of us will say it is good that we gave ourselves to listen to his word. Thank you and God bless you as we continue. Our word today, I have entitled it as God is able to change a destiny through a prayer made by his humble servant. I repeat, today's word is all about God is able to change our destiny through a prayer made by his humble servant. Our Bible readings are from 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, and our second reading is from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Dear friends, at the end of today's word, we shall have learned that God changes destinies of people through prayer. We shall also have learned that instead of blaming people for our sufferings, we better call on God, our God, our Creator, who will make a way for us even where there seems to be no way. Hallelujah. Be blessed as we continue. Let us now have, have our readings together. As I said, our first reading is from First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. Our first reading is from First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. It reads, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain, that is in distress. Verse 10 says, Jabez cried out to God, to the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you could bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from evil so that I will be free from pain. Let me read again our first reading. 
First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave path to him in pain. Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, saying, Oh, oh that you could bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from all harm, so that I will be free from pain. Our second reading, as I said, is from the book of Matthew. Matthew. Before we go to the second reading, the first reading ended by saying, And God granted his request. And God granted his request. Our second reading is from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. It reads, Come to me, all of you, who are weary and every burdened, and I will give you rest. I will read again. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come to me all of you. Who are every. Uh, who are weary and every burdened. And I will give you rest. Dear my brothers and sisters. It is true from the scriptures we have just read. That Jabez who has been spoken to scriptures. In the first Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, Chapez inherited life troubles right from his mother's womb. That's what we are getting. However, I want to say, my friends, life is not stationary. Life is a journey. And in the journey of life, our Heavenly Father has promised peace and rest. You remember we read in our second reading in Matthew eleven twenty eight, Jesus told the people of his time, Come to me, all of you who are weary and every burdened, and I will give you rest. So my dear friends, life is a journey. And in this channel of life, our Heavenly Father has promised peace. He has promised rest to them that call on, on Him with a humble heart. It came a time that Chapez was tired of his painful life. In his channel of life, he became tired of pain. He became tired of his suffering. And he came to this calling of God where he says, Come to me, all of you who are weary and every burden. In fact, in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 16 and the verse 9, God himself said that he will show himself strong on behalf of them whose hearts are fully committed to him. God, in 2 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 9, he says, he gives a promise that he will show himself strong on behalf of the people who are fully dependent on him. Those who depend on him fully, who go to him to seek help from him in the chain of life. God says he will show himself strong on their behalf. It is wonderful as the Bible tells us that the doomed Jabez, according to human path, this Jabez, a man who was born out of pain, who lived a painful life. The Bible tells us he ended up being more honorable than all his brothers, whom their times of birth was full of good report. The Bible says that Jabez, who was doomed, whose future was pain, the Bible says he was more honorable than all his brothers. This reminds me of the case of David, son of Jesse in the Bible. He was the youngest in his family and uh, he was more used to take care of his father's flock in the field. So most of the time he was not found at home. And his father, when time came that God needed to elevate one of his sons to become the king of Israel, the father of David did not remember him. He was not even mindful of him to be mentioned before God's prophet. When Samuel the prophet went to Jesus' home to anoint one of his sons to become a king in his life, the father did not mention David before him. His brothers who were at home were more preferred by his father, even by the prophet of God Samuel, to be anointed king over his life. But God refused them and caused David to be brought in for that great position of that time. The youngest David was anointed king over God's people, in the presence of his brothers, I believe David became more honorable than all his brothers, than all his brothers who were preferred by Samuel and by his father. Dear friends, 
the painful condition in Chapez's life was imparted on him by his mother who named him Chapez because she bore him in pain. Chapez therefore grew up in pain and became a source of pain to many other people. As a result, Chapez became rejected by many people. He lived a stagnated and a miserable life in his earlier times. In his earlier times. But as time went on, it dawned on Chavez that he was living a cursed life and was not able to progress any further. When he came of age, he learned where he got his name, why he was called Chavez. I thank God so much, my friends, for our second reading from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Where Jesus said, Come to me, all of you, who are weary and every burden, and I will give you rest. I thank God for this reading. It blesses my life. I also thank God, brethren, because of Romans chapter 10, verse 13, that says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Let me submit to our hearing today. In First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, the Bible records that Jabez, a man destined for doom, received favor from God, received favor from God, and became more honorable than his brothers because he chose to call on the name of God, the God of Israel. This God of Israel is the true living God, God of all human life, with whom nothing is hard to handle. Jabez became more honorable than his brothers because he chose to cry to God, to call on God, God of Israel, the true living God, God who has the ability to handle all the situations of life. Yes, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 32 and the verse 27, God said, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is there anything to add for me? In Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27, God said, I am the Lord, the God of all mankind. Is there anything to add for me? I want to believe, my dear friends, that the Holy Spirit of God caused Jabez to realize that all human beings are the works of God. So as he became tired of his painful life, he turned to God. He called on God to come to his rescue. He called to God to come to his rescue. In his honest prayer, Jabez asked to God to bless his life, to, nil- to enlarge his territory, to let his hand be upon him, and to keep him safe from evil. And the Bible concludes that, and the, that God granted all his requests. That is, he blessed him, he enlarged his territory, he accorded him his presence and fellowship, he protected his life from all evil, from all pain. Dear people of God, there are some great truths we see and we learn from the life of Jabez of the Bible. Number one, Jabez never blamed his sufferings on his mother, his biological mother. He never did that. Even though he discovered that his sufferings originated from his name, which his mother gave him, the name Jabez, meaning distress, meaning eh, pain. He never blamed his sufferings. He never accorded his sufferings on his mother. Instead, he looked to the God of his life, who is all able to handle all the challenges of life. Dear friends, you are there and you are suffering from one condition or another in your life. Do not remain in that condition anymore. Do not let people's words and pronouncements dictate your life anymore. Do not remain in that condition. Do not hold to those words that someone spoke over you, cursing you. I am here to tell us that there is a window of blessings. There is a window of blessings and honor for each one of us, as long as we call on the name of the God of Israel for our help. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 4 and 5, God told Jeremiah that before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I sanctified you and appointed you a prophet to the nations. 
Dear friends, our lives are so dear, so precious before God our Creator. Remember, He created us in His own image and after His likeness. He has known about us all along. He created us with a purpose, to live honorably and serve Him. To live honorably and serve Him. He has known us all along. Even whatever you are going through right now, God is aware about it. And he has a way to get you out of whatever pain you are going through. Today, in Jesus' name, our God is making a tender call to our lives, especially those of us who may be passing through terrible situations in life. Our God is saying, come to me and I will give you rest. He is saying, come to me and I will give you rest. By your merit of heart and with a sincere prayer, my dear brothers and sisters. Like Jabez, our pains and our shortcomings shall be a thing of the past, shall be turned to divine honor in the presence of our people. Is there any of us today who is giving up in life? Please, wait a moment. Do not commit suicide. Do not give up in life. Instead, turn to God and call on his name. Turn to God and call on his help. Remember, in our healing of the word, we read, we came across Romans chapter 10, verse 13, where the Bible says, Everyone, everyone, including you, my sister and my brother, who is going through a tough moment right now, including you. In Romans 10, 13, the Bible says, Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Everyone, a youth and a whole man, a child, as long as you are able to hear this voice. The Bible says in Romans 10:13, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be delivered, shall be helped, shall be brought to honor. Jabez of the Bible, whom we have learned today, he yearned for God's blessing, he yearned for God's presence. He yearned for God's enlargement and protection, and the Bible says, and the God granted him his request. Today, we have listened to God's word. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. What he did to his people of the whole, he can do it today to the people of this present time. What he did to Chavez, he can do it to you, he can do it to me. He is ready to expand our boundaries of life. If only we can humble ourselves and call on his name. If only we can humble ourselves and call on his name. Dear people of God, I may not know exactly how the enemy has interfered with your God-ordained life because he, the enemy, always comes to steal, kill, and destroy. The Bible says that the enemy, the devil, makes a noise like a lion looking for someone to destroy. But the good news is that the Son of God came to destroy every work of the enemy. And the Son of God came so that we have life and have life in abundance. Dear friends, allow God to take away all your worries. Allow God to take away all your pains. Allow God to dismantle whatever structures that the enemy has put in your life. Allow God to come to him with your prayer like Chavis. He is there for you. He is waiting to hear your cry, to hear your prayer. Stop blaming people for your misfortunes in life. Stop blaming your teacher. Stop blaming your pastor. Stop blaming, blaming your parents or your brothers. Stop blaming people. Chavez never blamed his mother. Even Joseph of the Bible, he never blamed his brothers for his misfortunes in life. Stop blaming people for your misfortunes. God is able to make a way for you where there has been no way. He is ready to give you rest and honor. May God listen to your prayers, my dear friend. May God listen to your prayers and grant your desire of your heart in Jesus' name. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did to Jabez, he can do it to us today. What he did to Joseph, he can do it to us today. What he did to those people, what he did to Jupiter, what he did to Gideon, he can do it to us today. God is able. 
my dear brethren, as we come to pray, as we come to the end of our message, I want us to listen again to this song that is saying that from the beginning to the end there is no argument. Our God is God by himself. What he did yesterday to his people, he can do it to us today. There's no place for argument You are God all by yourself You are God From beginning to the end There's no place for argument You are God all by yourself in your hands You call for light out of darkness <laughs> You don't need a man to be the God you are But you have chosen to call me your own Our God, there is no argument, He is God by Himself from the beginning to the end. In the book of Malachi says, He is God who changes not. What He did to His people of the whole, He can do it to us today. I may not know exactly how your life has been, what you have gone through in this life. Who messed you up as you were growing up? I may not know. I may not know what transpired in your life as you were growing up. I may not know the reason why your life is, an, is in a mess in some way. And you may be also someone here who does not understand what really happened. All you have been told it is because of a so and so. As it is told Jabez, he was suffering because his mother called him Jabez. You call him pain because she put him in pain. But I'm here to tell us, God is there for us. What he did to Jabez, he can do it to us. So look unto God, God of Israel, God of all human flesh. There is no situation in life that he cannot handle. He can change your destiny today from being horrible and terrible to a honorable and a great destiny to be talked about by many people in your generation. We thank God for his word. Let us pray. 
our heavenly Father, thank you for giving us your word. Like chapters of the Bible, we trust and hope in you for our blessed lives, our blessed lives destined for expansions and honor. We trust in you. Someone there, oh God, is trusting in you, is hoping in you, is making a prayer that God who changed the destiny of Jabez change my life. Oh God, listen to that prayer. Listen to that prayer. Bless that soul. Enlarge the boundaries of that woman, of that man who is calling on you. Let that man feel your presence and your fellowship. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, our Father. Keep us safe in yourself till we meet again to listen from your life-giving word. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. God bless you and keep you, people of God, till we meet again. Hallelujah. In the case of inquiry, of any inquiry of today's word, you are free to contact me, your brother, Bishop Asuma Mark Obiero. My phone number is 0720-686-903. And my WhatsApp number is 0735-903-609. God bless you and keep you until we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen.